Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture of basic chemistry. Today we are going to study the three theories of acid and bases. First is bronsted lorry definition. Second is Arrhenius concept of acid and bases. Third is Lewis theory of acid and bases. So let's talk about the first one. It is bronsted lorry definition. So this theory says that the acids are the compound when they react with another compound, they give off H positive ion. And likewise, this definition says that the bases are the compound which reaction on with some other compound except the H positive ion. So in simple term, this definition is saying that acids are the giver of H positive ion and bases are the acceptor. Furthermore, it also brings a new concept of conjugate acid and conjugate base. Since an acid after donating its proton is technically a base, so according to this definition, it is referred to as a conjugate acid. So these are the two new terms that is conjugate acid and conjugate base. Let us understand them. So when an acid is giving its H plus ion to some another compound, then this becomes a base and in this definition it is referred to as a conjugate acid and every acid has its conjugate base and it is vice versa. Let us understand this thing with an example. So here we have a strong acid that is H2SO4 when it is reacting with a base that is H2O it is giving back as H3O plus and HSO4 minus. So you can see that H2O is changed into H3O plus because H2SO4 have given its one H plus ion and it is turned into HSO4 minus. So H2SO4 which is an acid is having its conjugate base that is HSO4 minus and H2O which is a base is having its conjugate acid that is S3O plus. So this is what bronsted lorry definition wants to say. Every acid has its conjugate base and every base has its conjugate acid. And please keep it in mind that the stronger is an acid, the weaker will be its conjugate base and this is also vice versa. Now let us understand our next theory that is Arrhenius concept. So this concept talks about the reaction of acid and bases with water or we can say in aqueous form. So it says that the compound when dissolved in water gives off H positive ion and OH minus ion. So according to this concept, it says that only protic acid are allowed and only hydroxide bases are allowed to be classified as an acid or a base. It says that the compounds that give off H positive ion in water and the bases which gives OH minus ion in water uh, should be classified as acid or a base. So here we have a reaction H2SO4 in aqueous form or we can say uh, dissolved H2SO4 is giving back H plus that is a protic acid and a HSO4 minus that is a hydroxide base. So H2SO4 in aqueous form is producing one acid and one base. So this was Arrhenius concept. Now let's move towards the next theory that is Lewis theory of acid and base. So this theory says about electron pair accepting. So here the acceptors are the acid and donors are the bases. In bronsted lorry theory we, say, uh, we have seen that acids were the donor of H positive ion and electrons were accepting them. So there we talked about the H positive ion. Here we are talking about electron pair and acceptors and donors are different. Let us understand this theory with an example. 
so we have bf3 which is a electron deficient species so it is lewis acid because it wants electron pair now what will it do it will react with a electron rich species that is tertiary amine which is a lewis base because it is having a uh, richness of electrons okay so in here in this reaction you can see CH3N3 which is tertiary amine having a lone pair or we can say electron pair is giving its electron pair to Lewis base BF3 and on com combination they are making or we can say they are generating a salt CH3N3 BF3 so here tertiary amine is acting as a Lewis base which is giving the electron pair and BF3 is acting as a Lewis acid which is accepting the electron pair. So this is Lewis theory of acid and base. So quickly let's have a recap of three of the theories. First one was the bronsted lorry theory where the acids were the donor of H positive ion and bases were the acceptor and every acid was having its conjugate base and vice versa. In Arrhenius theory we have seen that it says that only protic acid and pro hydroxide bases are allowed to be classified as an acid or a base. In the next theory, Lewis theory, we have seen that the electron deficient species reacts with electron rich species and takes back the electron pair of electron rich species and generate salt. So this was all about this theory. Now here a question arises that how to measure the strength of these acid so there are two common method first one is based on Arrhenius definition and the second one is based on bronsted lorry definition so one measurement which is based on Arrhenius definition of acidity is the pH pH is a measurement of hydronium ion concentration in a solution and it is expressed on a negative logarithmic scale let me explain it in brief this negative logarithmic scale means if the pH is low it means the high value of hydronium ion concentration then the substance or the solution is said to be more acidic low pH more acidic means high value of hydronium ion in the solution and high value of pH that means low hydronium ion and the solution will be said that it is less acidic. So this was the uh, measurement which we do on the basis of Arrhenius definition. Now according to bronsted lowry definition it says about the acid dissociation constant that is the value of Ka. This the value of Ka measures the relative ability of a substance to act as an acid. For example, we have two substances, right? One is having high value of Ka and the other one is having low value of Ka. So the one which is having high value of Ka will likely to donate the hydrogen ion more easily and that means in the bronsted lorry definition we have seen that the acids are the giver of H plus ion okay so the substance which will have high value of Ka that is the acid dis dissociation constant it will donate the hydrogen ion more easily and it will be more acidic than the other one which is having low value of Ka okay so this is how we find the acidity of acids okay their acidic strength now let's move towards the objective questions first is 
solution that have a low ph have a high so we have option hydronium ion hydroxide ion both or none so we have just seen that low ph means the high concentration of hydronium ion in the solution and it means that the solution is more acidic okay and vice versa now the second question is acid after donating its proton is referred as so we have said that when an acid donates its h plus ion it is technically a base and according to bronsted lorry theory it is referred as conjugate acid so these were the questions related to this topic and we have covered all these topic in this lesson so thank you so much for watching this lesson